for the love of all that is good on this ranch. You are not doing this to me, right, Erwin? You're not doing this to me, right? You know, since I decided, oh, I'm going to be nice to you. I'm going to go ahead and let you have the observatory so that you can continue to work on our science and our space research behind the scenes when we try to raise twins in 101 foals. You know, because you moved on to the ranch, arguably, so that you can kind of do a bunch of the grunt work in exchange for the science we can give you access to so that we can finally make some progress on things. So you're not doing this to me, right? Because this, 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 this is, this is, as they say, just a prank, right, bro? Right? Oh my, are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ashlyn! Ashlyn, Ashlyn, you have so much to answer for right now you have so much to answer for your people your no oh my gosh like okay okay be oh oh my gosh y'all erwin just got abducted the day after the day after we had alien babies um erwin literally just got abducted i thought maybe there would be some interesting thing about that in the wall post but no 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 are you gonna get like a text, Ashlyn? Kind of like an FYI, filling you in, letting us know something's happening sort of text? Cause that would be really nice. Uh, Rocky, where are you going and what are you doing? Um, let's see, so he, he, I think he heard something and he was like, huh, funny that, that sounded kind of familiar. I wonder what was going on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, yeah, Erwin just got abducted, so. I think I know exactly what I'm having him do as soon as he comes back, but uh, I guess on that note, everyone, hello and welcome back to our Ranch to Riches Legacy, where apparently we just got abducted again. How about we take a moment, since you know Ashlyn's kind of watching over the kids while making a pizza, to go ahead and spend a little time with Hercules. I actually thought it would be kind of nice if like these two got to go on a little moonlight ride after so long of not being able to be together. So let's actually go for like just a nice uh, relaxed ride. Um, Cause Ashlyn was going to be willing to watch the kids by baking this pizza and spending a little bit of time with the twins. Cause she knows that that is really what, what um, that's really what, you know, Nessa who died would have wanted and Nessa also would have wanted us to be able to go ahead and get some money so that we could take care of the twins expand the cave if we insist on living in one uh oh good Ashlyn has reached parenting level three she can help kids solve their basic motives like bladder hygiene and fun she can also give parenting tips to others that's great Ashlyn how about you go ahead I utterly stunned this is happening how about you go ahead and coo at little Ilani here? I'm so stunned I'm actually leaving like the headline effects on because I, I, I mean, I don't need to make things more difficult on myself right now, thank you. Uh, oh yeah, and the trash is overflowing. Kind of forgot about that, but maybe I can help out here. You know, even, even the sim goddess in the sky with the guinea pig. Hi, Clover. Yeah. Am I being too noisy? Am I being too noisy? He's sleeping in the little scarf on my chest right now. And if I'm being too noisy, I can put you back in, okay? There you go. You get comfy. Yeah, I'm feeling the baby vibe, I guess, because I've, I've got my little guinea pig in a sling on my chest right now, huh? Huh, do I need to put you back in or are you going to fall back asleep? Yep, now I need to cuddle this baby too because I just cuddled my guinea pig baby. Yeah, and they I'll actually do make it. slings that you can oh, put your baby guinea pig, uh, like, on your chest and it just, like, gets held there. It's the most amazing thing in the world. He usually loves falling asleep in there. But I might be a little bit too, um, might be a little bit too loud considering aliens! What the heck? What the heck? Like, and meanwhile, these two, finally, Rocky is like, cool. Uh, you know what, Rocky? You would absolutely go for, like, a faster ride than this. Because you would love to go for, how about a nice energetic ride? Because you two haven't been out in so long. Oh yeah, I know that's how this would actually work out. 
Okay, actually, I take it back. These two would go for an intense ride. It's been ages since they've been out together. Of course they'd really want to, like, get moving. <laughs> of course Rocky's excited. Oh, that's more like it. Yep, yep. I bet he just wishes he had his cowboy hat on right now because he's like, finally! These two have been wanting to really spend time bonding for ages now. And now they actually can. Now they actually can spend a little bit of time like horseback riding because he's no longer pregnant with the twins. And and yeah, bless Ashlyn. She's actually hanging out and she's taking care of the twins for just a minute. Um, you know, good, wonderful. Let's also serve that pizza, please. <laughs> When's Erwin coming back? I know exactly what we're making him do as soon as he returns home. And I think that Ashlyn's gonna have to go ahead and have some words with some of the other aliens. Like, guys, you have no idea what kind of consequences just abducting these these sims has. Like, have like this planet is very different from home, you know. I'm gonna let her grab a serving. Uh -huh. There's just a lot happening here. She feels like she's, you know, tired, hungry, surrounded by filth. Well, I can't lie to you. Uh, ooh, yay! Rocky reached horse riding level 5. Do you know how long it's taken him to get there? He'll no longer become tense when he is up too high on the horse when riding. He can also intensely train with horse jumps and barrels, which increases a horse skill much faster, but it also fatigues the horse faster as well. That's kind of okay, because we almost need to do, like, high-intensity interval training the horse style right now to keep up with everything, so I think it'll work out. I forgot I put the the table over here and i was like why are you running away my dear we need somebody to watch the kids all right oh my gosh these bottles i'm gonna i'm gonna have to help i thought that okay um Erwin never knows what's lurking in the dark. Darkness is nothing but a veil to hide the most gruesome and terrifying creatures of the night. He feels like they could pop up at any moment. And lately, this man named Vlastidius keeps calling. <laughs> Aliens, awesome. Um, Erwin, what? What? Are you trying to tell me? You don't know any vampires. What was that? I don't need you. Did they turn you into an alien? Okay, look, like, or a vampire? Okay, he's okay, but we kind of have to share this gossip first. So let's have him get down here and, and we're going to have him, like, have to go ahead and check if there's any alien babies on the way. Basically, ASAP. And I think that Ashlyn's going to have a lot of opinions about this. Ashlyn, you might want to go ahead and make yourself a nice, like, cup of coffee. Because I don't know if you're going to be getting a lot of sleep today. I really need to figure out a way to make it so that basically you can just stay awake longer the ghost is nessa gonna visit because i'm kind of i'm kind of hoping we can like figure out a way to bring her back or maybe she can join in and we can have a ghost helping to take care of everything on top of it all that would be really lovely too um all right here you go ahead drink with desperation my dear because you're about to get some really interesting news while you were down here taking care of a couple kids, some of your, your alien counterpart family members, uh, terrified, afraid of the dark from fear of the dark. Uh, in the vast nothingness of the darkness, the night holds mystery, intrigue, and fear. Oh no, so he's excited about the aliens. But now Erwin's like, ah! He He's afraid of the dark now because he's he's gotten so afraid of having to deal with a million and a half of these these weird conspiracies now there's ghosts that have been kind of messing with him and now we've got this going on okay come on all right we need to we need to help this man out uh let's see so how about try to console that's actually a thing we can do we actually can try to console him i appreciate that Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know he'd react like that, actually. You're gonna scare the kids? Oh my gosh, you're gonna scare her? Oh my gosh. You know, this is definitely, <laughs> this is the perfect reaction she would have to be like, what, you got abducted too? Okay, that was not my fault. 
She still doesn't know if it was her fault for these two. I wish it was. That might be really cool. I can't see, like, their family tree or anything just yet. Um, Clover, are you going to fall out of the scarf? Here you go. And how's a bigger ear? Yeah, there's the baby. No, you can't eat the headphone cords. All right. Recording with a baby guinea pig on top of getting abducted by aliens on top of everything else. It, it, there's a lot happening here. Um... Okay, can we can we maybe gossip about what just happened? Uh, maybe like scream incoherently. You know what? That actually seems pretty fitting. Ah, that's very loud. I'm going to back up over here. Uh, and can can we maybe like? Oh, did he scare her too, or is he just running around screaming? You're gonna scare the kids, dude. But I mean, I can understand why you would be so upset. Can he? I'll let him scream incoherently again. Uh, and then maybe, can, can we talk about, like, what just happened here? Like, the whole getting abducted thing? Um, good night, asked to see jewelry. Okay, the screaming thing worked again. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Oh my word. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, in one second, I think Clover wants to be back in his little house. Is this too much activity? I know, I didn't expect aliens either. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I feel this is an appropriate expression for everything that's going on. We've got ghosts. We have got alien twins. We've got the horse that really is kind of confused about life and wishing that, you know, maybe he could become that champion he was promised. And now we may have more aliens with the aliens. This is very like, I feel like we're getting a little excessive here. But I think that we're going to have Ashlyn come over and try to console him and, and just and maybe, uh, let's see, doesn't, maybe now's not the time to ask about stargazing, but maybe we'll ask about his day and just kind of be like, so not to alarm you, but if he really just got abducted by um, the jerks I need to maybe talk with a little bit, I could totally see gossip about other parents. Oh my gosh. Um, I could totally see how maybe we go ahead and propose this crazy scheme of i don't want to alarm you but we'll share an idea she might be like so yeah i don't want to alarm you but you see those twins over there so funny story um you see rocky got abducted back when and then the twins were the result of that I don't know if I was involved, you know, and crashed my, my UFO. Don't really have a lot of memory after that. Came just wandering on here, dazed with a cat. <laughs> Geppetto? Geppetto, I'm so sorry about, like, life and not having spent a lot of time with you of late. Um, also, now now he's he's just trying to pass out. Erwin, I know you need a nap. Maybe we'll let him nap, and then we're going to have to... We're going to have to... We're going to have to gently but firmly prod him. And I wonder... Oh my gosh, you can't even, like, use some sort of test to find out, can you? How am I gonna know? How do you know? Like, can I do anything with him whatsoever to figure out if we're expecting more babies at all? Is there anything, anything I could do? Or are we just, oh my gosh, I think I'm just stuck waiting until we find out whether or not that happened. That's, oh my word. I thought I could like send him to maybe take a test or something. I can't. Erwin, dude, again, don't want to alarm or terrify you further. Just there may be consequences that we're not expecting. Also, the kids are both upset and I think Rocky senses that and he's like home. He's like, I'm on my way back, girls. And he has fun because he was having a good time, like, horsing around. That's wonderful. Let's go ahead and get him downstairs to help out with the twins now. Um, also, I wonder what we're going to do. Because literally, we've got 50 smoles. I'm trying to get stuff done. Erwin, I really, I mean, 
I thought I could have him like take a test and we could find out. I don't know if there's gonna be more aliens. He's way too young for this. I feel like Ashlyn would really take take whoever might be responsible to task. And this may be the beginning of a further, well, you know, the beginning she's looking at the results of, but this may be a furthering of her thoughts that maybe she really needs to push for better relations and understandings between Sims and her species. Um, so that maybe, you know, you don't have more you don't have more surprises. I think there's some communication errors going on that's resulting in all these kids just saying. Oh, Erwin, why don't you go ahead and go to sleep? No, 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 like... Um... What was that? Was that him just being terrified, or...? I... don't really need more things going on right now. I appreciate whatever thought might be here. Really don't need it. Oh my gosh, look, Ashlyn's getting sad. I forgot how aliens can sometimes pick up on the mood around them and they can get sad too. So Erwin is too scared to go and sleep in his treehouse, apparently. Um, Rocky... Okay, that's not going to fit in there, but maybe... Erwin, if that's how it is, how about you come sleep in the hall? You can lay in the very old sleeping bag we have. I can't believe I spent all of our simuls getting him. I just wanted to get everybody lined up because for his job, he also needed to like go and use an observatory. And I was thinking, oh, that might be a good idea. Boy, do I regret those words now. Um, and now we're feeling depressed because, you know, also we're irrational danger. <laughs> Um, from being screamed at. Ashley is scared. Why? Who knows? But it, apparently it scared the kids too. All right. Uh, no, no, no. We don't need to show off the kids. Um, Ashlyn, you're doing so good. You were so great watching over the whole kit and caboodle and crew. And I would have Erwin like help with the kids because he's probably going to be like their uncle of, you know, like the uncle, god uncle or whatever. But I feel like he's been through enough right now. And so it's okay. It's okay. I think Ashlyn would be like, yeah, why don't you go sleep? I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna, like, figure this out, but we really might have to deal with something coming up here. All right, and we'll take care of both the babies. Hang in there. Hang in there. I know. Like, which one are you? I think that, yeah, this one is actually Ilane, and here's Fiolana. Um, uh, I know it says Fuilani, but I, Lana, but I'm going to mess that up. I should probably just change your name to Fiolana. Um, but they're both named after some of my favorite characters in my favorite ever, like, like web novel. So I, I'm pleased with this, even if I can't pronounce their names, I need to put a bit of work into it. Um, all right, let's bounce the baby. Maybe cuddle her. I can't wait till you guys are infants, I think, maybe. Or maybe that's going to make everything even more chaotic for me. Also, somebody needs to go to the town dump. Because <laughs> we're, oh my word, we're like overflowing on coffee cups and and so much more. We've got to go ahead. Rocky, at least, is like skilling up in that parenting, like no tomorrow. Does that count as a mental skill? Because if that counts as a mental skill... I have a shiny gemstone that just might help. Um, dang, and I wonder, I think he's thinking like, wow, you know, I do want to enter competitions, but maybe he won't enter any horse competitions until the kids are a little older because like clearly they're, they're needed. Uh, they're, like we need to take care of them right now. And yeah, he really does love his girls. I think he just really owed Hercules at least one horseback riding. And when he left, to be fair, the kids were doing quite well. Um, and then Patch is 34 replied, I got your shiny rock number one in the mail. By any chance, was this supposed to be edible? Asking for a friend. <laughs> no, don't eat those rocks. Oh, my word. And Ashlyn also needed to list things on Plopsy. Oh, and she wants to knit things. That's right. That's one of the, the small things. One of the small things she wanted out of life was to be able to, like, knit the kids some clothes. Especially because, one way or another, they're her kids. Like, she's starting to really realize that. Because they don't count as, like, her daughters. But, but they are. Because she's fallen in love with their dad. And I think that that's a complicated... <sighs> Oh. oh, are we hungry? Probably. 
that's a complicated like concept for somebody from another planet but she's gonna really try to like understand because i bet they mostly were raised like i've said before by servos and sim bots all right are we both happy now phew okay oh and the cat geppetto hi geppetto's playing with stuff um can i resume knitting all right so here's the thing if we want to go ahead and we want to knit some newborn onesies i need wool we don't have which means i would need more sheep or something so really the only things that i can kind of work on right now are the projects she already has or let's see i think she can make i think we only have like blue wool yeah we only have blue wool and i uh, so i think the only thing i can make right now is a blue octopus well let's get to it i wish that her knitting didn't get tangled so often which is what i'm gonna say when it glitches out and like all of a sudden i can't continue to work on her projects i'm just gonna say that the yarn got tangled hey rocky this place is getting a little out of hand that's kind of what Erwin is supposed to be helping with, so maybe we'll have him like work on cleaning and doing other things later. Because he, he, he is here, supposedly, under the assumption... Oh! Ashlyn can knit sweater scarf combos! Or squarfs, oh my gosh. Level 9? I've never had somebody reach that high level of knitting. Oh, no wonder she wants to go ahead and become like famous on Plopsy for her knitting and she wants to be able to make the kids clothes. And she did want to have that knitting club, which I think is really cute. Let's see, how's she doing? Cleaning frenzy. Oh my gosh, she really wants to tidy this place up. That's really cute. All right, carry on everyone. Erwin, he's just feeling, why are, what strange light? Erwin, what are you talking about? What is going on? How? What? Hold up. What? Like, no, seriously. He's He was asleep. He was just straight up... Okay, that's it. Ashlyn's gonna have to, like, punch another alien in the face. I've... That's my third alien abduction ever. I've... Is he... Is that normal? Like, it, 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 is Erwin just, like, earnestly abductable? Was, what? 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 Uh, also, I need to sell this thing on Plopsy because I, 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 I need, I need more money and I need to put down more pails for all of the diapers. But, Okay, um, look, I can't exactly just send Ashlyn into town to sell some of their their corn at the local market, hopefully pick up some, some I don't know, eggs and wool, and then take the trash to the dump under these circumstances. Because, pardon me, a second, I've, is something broken? Is what? I feel like this is becoming a little bit out of hand, and maybe, maybe Ashlyn would hope. Perhaps I could talk to Nessa for guidance, because you know she was just starting to get in along with this person who was going to be her sister-in-law, and then you know, Nessa is dying. Totally not fine. Why is it talk like a pirate day on everything else? I don't. Know. No, no, walk the plank, matey. I'm not doing this right now. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. List this sucker on Plopsy. Ship this. Let me see if I can get another one of those thimble baskets. I guess I should have assumed I needed more trash cans if I have twins. Oh, now we're depressed. Well, don't worry. We're going to be able to figure out... That. This isn't good for Erwin, by the way. I'm not actually hoping that he has alien babies because he's just young he was just starting to figure his way out in the world and we were going to help him become like a, a space ranger and then we were going to go ahead and we were going to let him maybe have his own household maybe even fall in love with an alien or something in the future and now we're here 
I don't even know what to do about this at this stage. I truly am beyond baffled. And now we're sad. We're still mourning because, you know, our sister-in-law is no longer with us. <sighs> oh my gosh. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, and we need to actually charge, whoops, we need to charge our deep space uh, death metal with hematite if we want to prevent death for ourselves. I'm beginning to feel maybe we might end up with like multiple of those just constantly charging. Maybe even a little ritual before bed every night that's basically like, alien, alien, go away, come again another day. <laughs> And also charging all of our stuff. Oh, both the crystal trees have grown. I didn't know if this sucker was ever going to grow. I was so sad about that. I was I was really resigned to just only having one. But apparently we have lots of crystals. Maybe the future is crystals. What do we have this time? I actually kind of want to see what we have this time because I'm curious. Um, Let's see. So we can harvest one diamond another one of the hematites to keep death at bay quartz ruby <gasps> the nightlight isn't that what she needs as an alien oh my gosh maybe that'll make her feel better like also maybe we should be focusing on the gemology as our big money maker or maybe we just need to go ahead and like sell a bunch of our nectar but we can't leave the ranch because the kids so maybe we need to go ahead and host a ranch event if we stopped having aliens I gotta admit, watching him land in between two crystal trees with the meteors and the glowing moon thing. You guys, come on. I know we could have so many complaints about it, but this is amazing. I don't know anything else that would give me this kind of experience. Yeah, I don't blame you for being scared. And I don't blame you for going straight to sleep, Erwin. Again, we might have a lot we need to deal with as a result of all of these activities. And now I have even more crops to go ahead and harvest. Well, let's gather them on up. Might as well. I, I swear we're going to be able to send this woman into town at some point. <laughs> Maybe I'll even let her get another, another sheep because this is just absolutely stunning. Um... Also, I need to have her fertilize this plant. Oh, well, maybe I'll work on that later because I don't want her to mess up. So. We have our choice between, apparently, a cycle of alien abductions, which makes me wonder if Erwin would... He just... There's something literally about him where if he uses an observatory, he'll just get abducted all the time. Maybe not. Probably not. Probably just my luck. Um, and then we've got our, our girls downstairs. We've got Rocky taking good care of his kids. We've got a bazillion messes everywhere. We've got our, our, our cousin still dead and Rocky is still a little confused about him. Oh man, I wonder where Nessa went. Um, and... At least we have the nightlight, so we can have our alien powers recharge faster once depleted. At least there's that much that we can offer Ashlyn. At least there's that much. And meanwhile, I love how Rocky still, he, he had a loss in the family, but he's so excited about his, his girls. He's like, oh, no, 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 Nessa's not dead. She's just, she's right around the corner. Right around the corner. Wow. Okay. So... I'm gonna send Ashlyn into town with the goods because I think now that she's inspired and has the burden of love from good ranch products maybe she won't be too depressed I'm going to let her take a whole bunch of the trash because this is getting a little out of hand I wonder why I'm not composting all of it who knows can I put composty thingies in there can you show me oh my gosh I can all right we're about to compost a bunch of diapers don't know how I feel about that probably need to put some of these downstairs they can just live down there now, okay? In fact, I don't know if I want stinky compost. Oh man, on top of everything else. Chew, why aren't you like a more efficient e little slime eating all of this junk, huh? Oh well. Um, and uh, yeah. 
Time to go into town. Oh, dang it. Don't get depressed now. Come on. Oh, we're veering between severely depressed and inspired. But I think that Ashlyn's going to be able to do it, guys. So let's take care of the kids. I, I, Rocky's really in love. And I think he really wants to figure out like how he can take good care of his girls. And he's kind of just been in a bit of a haze days. Makes sense. Um, you know, he he gave birth and then his cousin disappeared, interestingly. And now he's just trying to make sure that everything is semi-maintained for his kids. And, um, oh, now the compost is completely full. Alrighty. <laughs> And he finally got to ride his horse again and reconnect with Hercules. And now he's going to have Ashlyn come downstairs and end up talking to him like a pirate. And Erwin has a lot of interesting and hopefully not too much interesting news to share with us at some point. Wow. 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 Like I said, we could have our complaints. But right now... I'm basking in the glory of all of this chaos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye